Welcome back guys, this is Always back with another video on the channel today. It's been long since I made a video, so today I'm gonna bring you another video on front-end web development. I'm gonna show you my favorite extension for Visual Studio Code. I've been using Visual Studio Code for front-end development and I've been using a lot of extension. So I actually made a list of the best extension that you should have installed in your Visual Studio Code for your front-end work. So I'm going to be showing you what are the best extensions that you can install and that's going to help you to improve your workflow for your front-end development. So let's uh, go to Extension tab. So you can have Control shift x to get to there. I'm going to click here and here it's going to give me a lot of suggestions for extension. There we go. We got a lot of uh, recommended extensions here as well. So the first one we're going to install is HTML snippet. So you type HTML, the first one is HTML snippet. It has about 900,000 downloads, so it's pretty good. So I'm gonna install that. Let's click on install, and that's gonna install. So what it does for you. So if you want to frequently write HTML in Visual Studio Code, the HTML snippet extension can come handy tool as it adds elaborate support for HTML. All the wheels code has basic support for HTML, such as syntax coloring, the HTML snippet extension knows much more. So probably the most useful feature of this extension is that when you begin to type a name of HTML tag without starting any brackets, HTML snippet quickly display a list of available options. Now let's have a look. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna reload Visual Studio Code and now I'm gonna go to Explore and let's create a new file. I'm gonna type index.html and then here if I type HTML as you can see that I'm not using uh, greater than bracket to type HTML it's just HTML and then you can click on it or you can press enter so it's gonna it's gonna type the opening HTML tag and a closing HTML5 tag as well. So it's gonna help you to improve your workflow. It's gonna be much faster for you to write HTML. So here if I type head and then you know get down, but still you can still use greater than and less than equal to sign. But if I type body here, press enter and there you go. The body opening tag and closing tag is already there. So how cool is that? All right, so the next extension is going to be CSS extension. Now CSS is really important because we use a lot of CSS to make our web pages look nicer. So we should have an extension for that. Now well, let's go to the extension tab and here we'll type HTML CSS completion. And we should see IntelliSense for CSS class com completion. Now this has a lot of download as well, about a million download. So what it does basically, when you start typing a CSS class, it will go back to your linked CSS files in your workspace and write down the suggestion. So you can just simply click on that or you can press enter and select your CSS class. It's really good. It's gonna help you to work faster and you don't have to mistype your CSS classes as well because it's gonna give you all the suggestions. So you know what the spelling, what are the classes available related to that word, and it just filters out as well. The next extension you should have installed in Visual Studio Code would be View in Browser. So View in Browser, there you go, this is the one. Let's install that. I'm gonna reload the page, let's reload it. And now if I go to index.html, I'll just type, let's say p tag, hello world. How are you going? Now if I go to my explorer and I'll right click here, I should have an option for view in browser now. So the shortcut key for that is control F1. So if I click here, I should select my Chrome browser as a default browser. And there we go. So we got our hello world. So now it's very easy to just look at your HTML files so you don't have to go and you know go to reveal in Explorer and then double click on that so you can simply right click and go view in browser it will open up your default browser and will show you the file now you can use the shortcut key as well which is a lot quicker alright so then let's go to the next one next one would be 
debugger debugging is the most important thing that you could do in web development i would say that 60 percent or 70 percent is debugging and 30 percent is developing so you need to know and you need to work faster while you're debugging so there's an extension for real Street code which is debugger for chrome and i believe a lot of people use chrome for their web development or for their default browser so we have a debugger for edge we have a debugger for chrome as well we don't have a firefox debugger developed by microsoft so one more thing that this is developed by microsoft then you have idea now how good it's going to be so it's a vs code debugger from chrome so basically what you can do you can do breakpoints in here you can click on this play button and whatever the website you're running uh and it, you could debug right in your code right you don't have to go and use the chrome developer tool to use the breakpoint so it's very handy very quick i'm going to install that as well and yeah this is really cool guys you should have installed this debugger and try to use this and learn this how to use it i'll probably do a separate video how to use uh, chrome debugger and yeah the next one is gonna be js hint so let's go and look for that first so i'll type j js hint and this is the one js hint so let's get in this thing installed and i'll talk about it now real strict or js hint extension uh, integrates the popular js hint javascript linter right into the code editor so you can be informed about your errors as soon as you commit them by default the js hint extension uses the default options for a linter that you can customize with the help of configuration file the usage of this extension is quite straightforward as JS Hint marks the errors with red and notification with the green underline. And if you want more information on the issues, just hover over the underlying parts and JS Hint will float a label with a description of the problem. So it's pretty great. So this thing is going to help you to find out all the problems in your JavaScript code. So make sure you get installed and use it. This is great. All right, so now we use jQuery a lot. jQuery is the best and most famous library for JavaScript for DOM manipulation. So I'll just go search for jQuery snippet. This is the one we're looking for. So 190K and I'm gonna click on install. It's gonna install jQuery code snippet. So you once you're typing a dollar sign and then you go next and it's gonna give you all the snippets, all the jQuery things in there. It's pretty handy because every website probably have a jQuery, uh, jQuery attached to it because jQuery has a lot of DOM manipulation options which can help you to basically they say write less, do more. So you write less code and do more. It's a great library and this is the most popular library for JavaScript. So you should have installed jQuery snippets which are great. All right, so next one is Bower. Bower, let's go get installed first and I'll talk about it, why it is important for front-end development. So this is the one we're looking for, Bower. I'm gonna install it, it's got about 37,000. Not many people have installed this, I don't know why, but it's great. Now, the Bower VS Code extension can make your web development workflow more intuitive by integrating the Power Bower package manager into Visual Studio Code. So, if you want to put this extension into use you don't have to switch back and forward between the terminal and the editor so to find out what i'm talking about here you should need to understand bower as a package manager all right so but you can easily perform your package management tasks right inside the visual studio code uh the bower extension leads you through a creation of project bower.json file and you can also install uninstall search update packages, manage cache chain, perform many of the tasks with it. Uh, you can access Bower related commands by starting a command palette as well, by R by pressing F1, typing Bower into it and the input tab. Let me give you a demo for that. So we have installed it. I'm gonna reload a Visual Studio code and we go to view command palette. If I type Bower, this is where I'm looking for. And this is, there you go. So we got the Bower in it bower install bower search and install so if you want to create a bower.json file 
Now what we can do here, we go here, we can just click on bower, bower in it. So I'll just click on bower in it. Now it's asking me to have the name, escape to cancel. So you can follow these and then you can create a project. So yeah, that's about this uh, bower. The next, uh, we need to have a git install. It's There's an extension in Visual Studio Code called a git history. This is the one, git history. It's got a lot of downloads, so 1.1 million downloads. It's got pretty much five star rating. So basically every project needs a git. The git is a version control system. So yeah, if you are doing any web development, you need to have a git. Any project, it needs a version control system. So instead of using uh, external, like uh, external software for git, for example, source tree, you can install this extension and use that. So I'm gonna reload the Visual Studio code and we have the git install now. There's a problem. Failed to load JS hint library. Please install JS hint in your workspace folder using npm. Well, there's an error. You need to follow this to fix this JS hint. All right, let's close this and we're going to go to command palette and I'm going to go git here. And there you go. So we got the git options as well. So we got git clone, initialize repository. If you are creating a project, then uh, yeah, you can initialize repository by clicking here. It's going to ask you the name and where you want to save this it's automatically detected the folder we are in right now so here we are in this folder javascript folder which is in your drive apps from workspace and javascript all right so yeah that these are the major extensions what i use on a daily basis when i use visual studio code for web development there are a couple more i want to show you here there's a cool one so there's an extension called vs icons Oops, so icons here. Let's just leave that there and we should have VS code icons, right? Uh, this is great. You, you can see that it's got 3.4 million. Well, what it does basically, it just colors your file with the icons. There you go. So now you can look at it and you can see that this is HTML5 file. This is a JavaScript file. This is a CSS file, right? So makes you look better. Not look you better, but make sure IDE look better. So here it's more styled now. Now there's a couple more I want to show you here, which are path completion. So sometimes when you type href or when you link any file in your HTML or any kind of link, even in a CSS or JavaScript file, you have some links. So what it can do basically it can auto complete the file. It will read the directory what you are using and it will just gives you the suggestion of different files so this is the one but you just type path and this should be autocomplete that's the one i'm talking about it's got five stars as well eighty-one thousand downloads pretty great so basically when you type slash and it will read all the files in the directory and give you suggestion you can simply click on that or select that and press enter and that's going to help you to complete the path because sometimes you don't really know what is the relative part and what is the main part of the file so you can use this extension to uh, just auto complete your part there's another extension which we need is server so built-in server there you go this is the one i want to i would recommend there is another one here live server preview so it basically it will start a server once you are uh, looking at your html file so it will run your file on a server so basically it's a server running and you can do a node.js or whatever you want to do with it so it's got server now i'm not going to go deep into what is a server meaning here but it just starts a server this is uh this is a must-have extension as well well i use this one live server uh but there's another one live server preview that's just a preview for html but here we have this uh server so we can launch the server inside our visual studio code all right guys so yeah that's about it and uh yeah thank you so much for watching this video and uh yeah i'll gonna keep uploading a lot more videos from now on and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers and yeah make sure to subscribe guys